Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. So we're waiting for issue number 12 and I've been guaranteed by the distributor that from issue number 12, the magazines will be released weekly. So I'm really excited about that. But today we're going on a bit of a journey. I'm going to travel through all of the squares that I've made and all of the patches and compare them to the ones that they want you to make. I'm going to have a bit of an audit and look at all the hard work that we've done so far. So they recommend that you lay your patches and character squares flat in a tub and this was my tub that I used to lay my patches down in and issue number one would have to be my favourite patch that I've done and that was the Peter Rabbit patch. So if you look at the original one, the one that they would like you to make or suggest that you make, it's very neat, very clean and very simple and I think a bit basic. This was a bit of a learner for me in lots of ways, the Peter Rabbit Square. I first learned about Bondaweb and how to use it and also how to transfer all of the pieces onto the fabric. But I did deviate very quickly. Obviously the fabric is different. I also used the floral motifs and also the border ribbon. I really like this one because it's quite vibrant and I love the red and the blue. So next onto my first patch. So this was the first patch that I attempted and it's the double four patch. I haven't deviated apart from the border from the patches as I want to learn how to make these traditional squares. I think I've done a pretty good job for a first timer. The points meet fairly well and I'm really happy with this one. So issue number three was Jemima Puddle Duck. So this is the beautiful Jemima that they would like you to make and this is my Jemima. I've used different fabric and I've added the floral motifs and the border. I'm really quite happy with my stitching here. I took my time with the stitching and I think it's quite neat. The second patch that I attempted was a bit tricky but I managed and I'm really pleased with it. It's the windmill patch from issue number four. I really took my time with this and although that some of the points are a bit dodgy and don't meet in the middle, I think that the windmill still flows nicely and when it's stitched all together in the quilt, I don't think you'll notice it too much. Next up we've got issue number five's Tom Kitten. I went a bit crazy with Tom Kitten in my stitching with thread episodes. After doing the beautiful work with Jemima and being so disciplined, I think it was time to lash out a bit. I quite like this one, although I do think it's a bit messy, but that was the whole point of it, to have drawing with thread and just to relax and loosen up a bit. I used a different backing fabric and also the floral motives. I also used the border. So as you can see at the Tom Kitten from the issue and my Tom Kitten, they do vary. Next we've got our third patch, which is the nine patch from issue number six. There's no deviation here, except I think this, this block here is a bit wonky donkey, but I'm still quite happy with it. And on to the next character square, Benjamin Bunny from issue number seven, where I went a bit crazy daisy and I used the fabric paints. I used the fabric paints, the floral motifs and a different backing. I've also got the border in ribbon. So if you look at the Peter Rabbit patchwork quilt part works version, 
there's no flowers and I think the painting gives it a lot of depth and interest and originality. I really enjoyed doing the painting with the fabric paint. This patch here is the basket of flowers from issue number eight. I was really pleased to be able to do this one. This one was really quite challenging for me, but it worked out. I persevered with it, went through the instructions bit by bit, um, and it worked out quite well considering. I'm really happy with this and proud of this one. I think this has been the most difficult of all of them so far. But bring it on, I know they'll get trickier and I can't wait. Our next character square, the Flopsy Bunnies from issue number nine, I took a different direction with this. This is the first time that I used different fabrics for the applique pieces. I think it works well. It's really quite simple, pretty, and there's a spring feel to it. These are little bunnies and I think it adds quite an innocent and fresh feeling to it. If you look at the Flopsy Bunnies from the magazine guide, I think they're quite plain. I really like the florals and I think these florals that I've used link in really well with the patches and the florals that are used in the patches. I really like this one. I also used the correct backing but I also changed the top section from the autumn leaves to the spring leaves. The diamond pinwheel patch was another tricky one for me. This really challenged me but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the challenge. I took my time, read the instructions. I know that my um, skills in sewing them together will improve although this one is a little bit wonky donkey I did take my time and for that reason I'm really quite proud of this one and quite happy with it and lastly bringing us up to issue number 11 we've got the Miss Moppet character square I obviously changed the fabric I feel that this fabric also links in to the patches and the florals that are used I also added the birdies. I think they're quite playful and I like the blue as well which links in with her dress. Like the Benjamin Bunny, Miss Moppet was also painted using the fabric paints. I really enjoy the painting method and I think it will look quite effective on the quilt. They are colour fast, they've been set in with the iron and I know that they'll wash up really well. I think the fabric paint adds a bit more character and a bit more detail and depth. This is the Miss Moppet that they would like you to make. She's quite bland, grey, washed out and although there's a lot of stitching on there, a lot of satin stitch and a lot of detailed heavy stitching, I really like the fabric paint. So there we have it. We've got our five patchwork patches. We've also got our six character squares. Let's have a quick rundown and look at them side by side. joining me today. I hope you found a bit of inspiration and a bit of a element that you can personalize your squares with to make it truly your own. 
I look forward to receiving issue number 12 and all of the issues up to issue 90 and beyond weekly. There's going to be a lot of making and I'm really looking forward to it. So thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.